Hey guys, this is Karkane again with a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable multitouch gestures on your laptop running Linux, especially any Arch based uh, Linux distribution. It does ha uh, work on Ubuntu, but it needs more work and more terminal. On any Arch based Linux distribution, it's a lot easier uh, because you have the AUR and you have uh, the add remove software, which is Pomac. I'm doing this on Manjaro. Uh, so let me walk you through the process. So first thing we need to do is open the uh, Pomac uh, add remove software and then search for lib input. Uh, you will see two already installed, don't worry about them. The, the two things you need is lib input gestures library and then you need the gestures uh, app. This one is the one that translates your gestures on the, uh, on the touchpad and this one is a, a simple GUI app that actually help you configure your gestures. Uh, just in case you don't want to deal with the file manager and all that good stuff. So what you do is you click on install here. Oh, no, hold on. I got to I got to choose both. So you choose this one, you choose this one, and then you hit apply. And you make sure you check both of these. And hit choose. And then put in your password. and wait for these to finish apply all right we're done with this now i'm going to open this uh, text file so first thing you need to do is like i mentioned earlier you download these two and then uh, the second one is to add your user into the input uh, category or whatever they, or whatever they call it so you run this simple command. I'll go here. Go here. So we're gonna copy and paste this one. And here, I will leave all these uh, commands in the description. Paste. Oh, after this, when you hit enter, you have to uh, log out and log back in uh, for this to take uh, effect. Enter, enter your password. We're good. I'm gonna log back. I'm gonna log out and log back in, and then uh, I will come back to you after I log back in. All right. I just logged out, logged back in. Now we're gonna go here. Let me actually open this. All right. Thanks. Thanks to Firefox, saved my uh, tabs. Now we're gonna open this. And then we have a couple of commands I ha we have to run. Uh, let me actually zoom in real quick. There we are. So the first one is uh, the one that uh, auto starts uh, gestures. Technically you should run this, the second one first, but it really doesn't matter. So what that does, it enables the service, which is the lip input. And then you get that. See that, you see that little hand uh, showing? There we go. And then the second one, this is an auto start, which makes it uh, starts whenever you reboot or turn off your computer. Uh, install or update at home. There we go. And then after that, we're gonna go to our app, the gestures that we just downloaded. And it's right here. Open it up. So, before I do anything here, see that little hand showing? That means it's working. All right. Uh, there's a couple of things I need to show you. I'm going to leave that in the description, like I said earlier. There is a, a cheat sheet for uh, the KDE desktop uh, keyboard shortcuts. All I really care about is how to let's say snap tiles back to the side like that or this side or do the overview that like that so uh, the snap tiles is the windows key and then the left direction or windows key right direction the overview is normally control i think function F10, yep, right here. 
So it says uh, Control F10 gives you present windows. Control F9 gives you present windows on current desktop. That's your choice. I like to show all the desktops that I have. So I'm going to map it to Control plus F10. Uh, on, on my keyboard, I have to press Control F, uh, Fn, the function key, and then F10 or F9. It's too much. With the gesture, you can swipe up three uh, with three fingers or swipe down with three fingers and call it a day. Um, the the other page I want to show you is this one right here. These are the I don't know what you call these combinations, symbols, or representations of each button you have on your keyboard. So if you want to add the F10, you will understand why I'm doing this later. So this is the F10, and that's the number for it. F9, that's the number for it. We'll come back here later and you will understand. <clears throat> so we open this gesture app. You need to do is click the plus sign and then you choose your choice here. So we're looking at swipe. So that's what I want. This is swipe up and this is three fingers. And then what you want to do is you click on here and you type in XDO tool. See, it gives you here this one right here. It gives you a suggestion. You click it. And then you delete the, the whole thing right here. You keep XDO tool. So first I'm going to do snapping the tile to the left side. So I want, I wanted to snap the tile to the left side when I swipe my uh, three fingers to the left. So, and that, that can be done by pressing the windows key, meta key or the, the super key. It has so many names, but on most laptops, it's the, the key that has a windows uh, sign on it. So to press to snap the tile to the left, you have to press the Windows key and the left sign. So what you type is super. Super represents the Windows key, and then plus, and then left. Make sure the S is capital and the L is capital. And when you're done, confirm. Let this hand go away. And now I'm going to swipe left. Oh, I messed up. Sorry. You got to do actually swipe left. Yep. There we go. So you make swipe and then left and then three fingers and you type this in confirm and wait for that. And then see, I sw I'm swiping left right now. Left. There we go. And then for the right side, you do the same thing. Swipe and then right. And then XDO tool. Oh, it gives you a suggestion right away. So for the right side, all you have to do is change the left to right. And then hit confirm. Wait for it to finish. And now I'm swiping right, I'm swiping left. Now let's add the overview, this one right here that shows all the windows. So on KDE, to show this, you have to press Control F10 or F9. On my laptop, or probably a lot of laptops, you have to press Control, Function key, and then F9 or F10. So to eliminate that, uh, the gestures actually would get rid of that. You don't have to press any keys, so you just swipe up. So that's where this comes in. So F10 is right here, and I remember we needed this right here. So Control F10, and the F10 is right here, which is 0x FFC7. You copy that, and then we're going to go back to our gestures app. Hit the plus, and then swipe up and then we're going to go three fingers same thing xdo tools and choose one of these with this one you delete this one so we said control f10 gives us the the overview so you do control plus this number right here we just copy that and then confirm we 
wait for that hand to go away swipe up swipe up swipe up i normally do swipe up swipe down to get rid of it which is probably the same uh, to feel like i'm using a mac or something so to do that you click uh, the plus and then swipe and then swipe down three fingers and then xdo tools so and instead of this one right here same thing because we're we're basically doing control f10 so we don't need to change anything except swiping down so that that way when i swipe up or swipe down i can get it and wait for that swipe up swipe down swipe down swipe up same thing you can do that with uh four fingers um you just hit plus and then you just choose your four fingers and do the same thing um, also you can do pinching uh, let's say you want to pinch two fingers or three fingers to you know the zoom in on a web page uh, so the same thing you have to find the shortcut here for uh, for kde and then same thing with with pinching it's a little different uh, XDA tool key control it's actually not different it's the same thing all you have to do is just uh, find the you know key com uh, key key bindings or the combination of the keyboard keys or shortcuts to make it easier and plus and then hit pinch and then choose in or out two fingers three fingers four fingers uh, clockwise anti-clockwise yada yada all that good stuff and then you do XDO tool and then you choose this and whatever the combination is you type it right right after this and when you're done you click confirm that's it i think that's about it guys so uh, this is all it is really uh, i find it to be a little more difficult on ubuntu because you'd have to actually install a bunch of uh, uh you know packages and stuff on manjaro on or any arch based linux distribution literally it's just a matter of going to the pomac and downloading these two lib input uh, one library and jester app and just follow the video i showed you that's all it is if you have any question uh just let me know down uh, down below in the comment section if you have any other suggestion uh still let me know otherwise i really really appreciate you watching please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.